So in this video, I'm going to show you how to write your first Java program, and we're going to talk about uh, what is a program. So first, right here, you see I have Eclipse running. That's the name of the program right there. This is what it looks like when I started it after I hit the Workbench button. It takes me to this whole thing here, which is called the Workbench. Um, the way Eclipse works is it keeps all your programs in a workspace. So you see up here, it's the directory name for my workspace, which is called workspace-145 lectures. And that's where all the programs I write will be stored until I switch a workspace, which I could do by going to File, Switch Workspace. Um, so it has, as you can see, there are a lot of little windows. You have this outline, this task list, and these other windows. Uh, we don't need these, so I'm going to close it. I can just hit this X here and I'm going to close that. I don't need this one for now. I'm going to close it. We'll talk more about those things later. Now I have uh, this package explorer here and this other window here which is blank for now. Let's get something there. So to create a new project, you say file new Java project. You see there's a bunch of other options and you're going to give it a project name. So I'm going to choose Hello World. And uh, we're going to leave all these as they are. And we're going to hit Finish. And what that did, you see now here in the Package Explorer, I see this new Hello World package. There's a little arrow there. I can click on that. And then it shows me the subdirectories of that. So I have a Hello World project, which has a SRC folder that stands for source. That's where your source code is going to be. And then there is this uh, Java system library. You're not going to touch that. Just leave that alone. Um, so now to create, so this is just created uh, a directory. You can see it if you go, I'm going to go over here to my workspace in the finder of the computer. Uh, you can see on their 145 lectures, uh, there is this hello world. And under that hello world, there's two folders. There's a bin and an SRC folder. Uh, and uh, we'll, talk, we'll talk about more about those. But the SRC folder is where you're going to put your code or where your code will be placed. So here, that's the same SRC folder. So we're going to right click on that and then we're going to say new class right there. And so you want to right click new class and you get this window that pops up. You are going to give the class a name. The name should always start with a capital letter. I'm going to call it main. That's a very common name for your main class. And I'm also going to click here. Uh, it says, which method stubs would you like to create? And I'm going to say, I want a public static void main, etc. So I'm just telling Eclipse to create or write some text for me so I don't have to type it in myself. And uh, I click Finish. And uh, you see, all that did was it created this file, main.java. So this is a file. It's just a text file, that's all. And this is all that's in the text file. There's nothing else in there. And uh, you can see it says public class main. And over here it says public static void main. The, this line up here because I checked that checkbox. And this is a program, right? This is sort of, this is basically the simplest Java program you can have. It does nothing, uh, but it does run. So let's, let's try running it. Uh, to run this Java program, you would now click here, this triangle, which is the Run button. So when I click that, uh, it runs it. But since the program doesn't do anything, eh, we don't see anything. So let's make it actually do something. So I'm, you see this line here, it says to do auto-generated method stub. So that's Eclipse telling me that this method was generated automatically, that I need to put some code in there. So I'm going to delete that line and go to the end 
delete, delete, delete. So I'm gonna type system.print ln, um, sorry, system.out dot print. You can see Eclipse is popping this uh, little window here. And it's basically it's trying to help me finish it. So I can just you know hit enter right now and It'll put that code in there. I can type in hello world, a semicolon there. And now I can uh, save it. I saved it, control, command S or control S. And now uh, I can run it. I'm going to click the run button. And you see what happened down here. This console popped up. And you see hello world appear there. So that's your first. So now, hopefully, you follow this through on your own computer, and you have now a working program. So let's look at this. So this is a program. is just a text file, right? This is main.java. It's just a text file. If we go back to our Finder, we'll see now under the source directory there is a main.java file. That's just a text file. It ends in .java, but it's just a text file. And then under the bin directory, there is the main.class file. So this class is generated from the .java file by the compiler. And you're not going to be looking at that file at all. Um, we write the .java files, and then the compiler turns a .java file into a .class file when you press the Run button. Uh, so this is when you turn in homeworks, you're going to be turning in the main.java file, which you can find in your file system. You can also open this file with some other IDE if you wanted to. OK, so back to the program. So let's talk a little bit about the program and how, how it is structured. Uh, you can see we have the, the program is basically just a set of instructions that tells the computer what to do. Now, the computer, when it runs, it's going to read the program from the top, you know, one line after the other, the same way you would read uh, a book. However, when it executes, uh, that means, you know, it, the, it's going to just read this stuff up here, but it's not going to do anything with it. It's going to look for this public static void main, right? This main function, it's called main, and the fact that it's called main is very important because that tells the computer that this is where I'm going to start running. So the computer is going to look for that main, and then it's going to look for the next statement after that, which in this case is system out println hello world, and it's going to run that command. So it's going to run hello world. We could add other statements there. System out print, and uh, we can say print the number five. And after that, we can say uh, print land the number seven plus two. And I can run that. If I run that, uh, it says, do I want to save it? I forgot to save it, so it's telling me save it. And I can click here to say, yeah, always save files before launching it because um, that's what you want. If you don't save it to a heart, to the computer, then it's not going to be able to compile it. It's going to compile the previous version. So I'm going to say OK. And there you see now when I run this new program, it says hello world, and then it says five, and then it says nine. Right? So first it ran hello world, then five, then it ran this other one. And uh, what it did is it calculated seven plus two, which is nine, and it printed out nine. If I were to move this, over here, so five to that, and I run that again. It says now it says five. Hello world. Oops, seven and then nine. So the order matters. 